Hey guys, welcome to VTCAcademy.com. And here in this presentation, we are going to discuss graphs on trigonometric functions called cosine or cos. So, in order to write a graph, let us write y equal to cos x, and then let us write the values of y corresponding to the different values of x in a table. So, first, let us write the values of x. The values of x are nothing but the radians. So we get here minus pi, and then the next value is minus pi by two, and then we get a origin that is zero degrees, and then the value is pi by two, and the next value is pi, and then the next radian is three pi by two, and then we can take the next radian as two pi, and then we have here five pi by two, and at last we can take the radian as three pi. And now let us find the different values of y corresponding to the different values of x. So by substituting the values of x in y equal to cos x, we get the different values of y. So first, let us substitute the value of minus pi in cos x. So here we get cos minus pi, and here the result for cos minus pi will be equal to cos pi, as minus theta lies in. Fourth quadrant, and in fourth quadrant, only cos and secant are positive. So here, cos minus pi will be equal to cos pi, and the result for cos 180 degrees is minus one. So hence, we get minus one as the value of y. And now let us substitute the value of x, which is minus pi by two in y. So here we get cos minus pi by two, which is nothing but cos pi by two. And the value for cos 90 degrees is zero, so we get zero as the value of y. And now let us substitute the next value of x, which is zero, in y, so we get cos zero degrees. And here we already know that cos zero degrees is equal to one, so hence we get one as the value of y. And now the next value of x is pi by two, so here we get cos pi by two, that is cos 90 degrees, which is zero. As the value of y, and then the next value is pi. So cos pi degrees is equal to minus one. So we get minus one as the value of y, and then the next value is three pi by two. So substituting this value of x in y, we get cos two seventy degrees, which is zero, and then the next value is two pi, which is three sixty degrees. So cos three sixty degrees is equal to one. So we get one as the value of y, and then the next value of x is five pi by two. So substituting that in y, we get cos five pi by two, and we can write this in the form of cos four pi plus pi by two. And here we can split this and write cos four pi by two plus pi by two. And here by simplifying, we get cos two pi plus pi by two. And here it is in the form of cos 360 degrees plus theta, which lies in first quadrant. So in first quadrant, all the ratios are positive, so we get the result as positive. So here cos 360 plus theta is equal to cos theta. So here we get cos pi by two, and we already know the value of cos 90 degrees, which is zero. So zero is the value for cos 5 pi by two. And now the next value is 3 pi. So cos 3 pi. Can be written as cos two pi plus pi, and here it is in the form of three sixty plus theta, so we get cos theta. So here the result is cos pi, and the value of cos one eighty degrees is minus one. So here we get minus one as the value of y. And now let us take a suitable scale and plot these points in the coordinate plane. So let us draw x axis and a y axis here. So here this is y axis. And whereas this line is x-axis, and now let us plot the values of x on x-axis. Let us plot one on the positive y-axis and minus one on the negative y-axis. And here, let us plot these points on the coordinate plane now. So here, the value of minus pi is minus one. So here we get a point intersection of minus pi and minus one, which is the here. And then the next. Point is minus pi by two, which is zero, so it lies on x-axis. So let us mark a point here. And now the next plot is zero degrees, which is one. 
so we get a point here and then the next plot is 0 so we get a point x axis at pi by 2 and then we have minus 1 so here we get a point where pi and minus 1 meets and then the next plot is 0 which lies on x axis at 3 pi by 2 and then the next plot is 1 where 2 pi and 1 meets is the point and then it is 0 so which lies on x axis at 5 pi by 2 and at 3 pi it is minus 1 so here we get a point where minus 1 and 3 pi meets and now joining all these points we get a graph and this graph is called as y equal to cos x and then make note of few points that is the graph of cos x is a continuous curve and the minimum value of cos x is minus 1 whereas the maximum value of cos x is 1 and the curve of the cos x doesn't pass through the origin and the curve will repeat with an interval of 2 pi. So this was a basic introduction on graphs of trigonometric functions such as cosine or cos. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to edchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.